fast. Sure. I'm going to give go. you 10 seconds. All right. I want your three biggest lessons that you've learned since you've moved overseas. Okay. Have patience, speak properly, and network. Okay. So have patience. Uh, go a little deeper into that. One. Okay. Have patience, meaning things are not always going to go your way. And even when you want to accomplish something, you have to give yourself time. You have to give yourself time. We're living in a world where everything is fast, 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 and that's fine. But again, at the end of the day, trees don't grow any faster. Mm -hmm. Nature is still slow. Mm -hmm. Everything is still slow. You must be able to give yourself time because if you don't, you are going to burn yourself out unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Uh, patience. And then number two was... Speak properly. Speak properly. Yeah, you have to speak properly. You have to speak in a way where everyone can understand you. Again, most of the world does not speak English. One thing I did learn from uh, Nas Sire, from, 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 Nas, from Nas Daily, is that you want to speak for people who don't speak English. Mm. That's the thing. If I'm speaking to people from America, yes, I can speak a little bit faster and with a bit more of a slang. But if I'm speaking to someone who doesn't speak English, you have to speak clear, you have to speak slowly, and you have to speak in a way that they are going to understand. Yeah. That's that. And plus, it just makes you sound more professional as well. That's number two. And number three was patience, speaking clearly, and networking. So, again, you need a team. And the biggest thing I've realized is that life is more fun when you have people around you. The number one thing above all else is that life is about people. And when life is about people when, you, people, when you have that mindset, you want to do right by people. You don't want to do wrong. You don't want to snake anybody. You want to be the kind of person that's known that you can be trusted, that you can be on time, that you can be everything that you need to be for someone else's benefit. In that way, they can also benefit you. Because when you can benefit others, when you can give value to others, it makes them like you. People want to work with those they like and trust. Mm -hmm. And when you can do that, it makes life much more fun, much more enjoyable because, you know, we're living in a time where there's electricity and everything where we can live alone. But in countries where people do live alone, they're not happy. Yeah. You know, they're not happy. So a big for, for and, and I'll go a little bit deeper into this. Japan versus Vietnam. A big reason why I came to Vietnam is that it's a complete 180 from Japan. Mm. Japan is a. First world society, I love it. It has everything that you need to survive and more. But the whole life is about people think I didn't really sense it there. Mm -hmm. There are some pockets, sure. But saying hi to a random person on the street, it can be quite difficult. You can go anywhere on the streets in Vietnam and say hi. And you can start a conversation with anybody. Even if you don't speak Vietnamese, hi. You get a smile at least for most people. So I love that here. And it's so easy to make friends because, especially when I was in Saigon, oh my goodness, it was so easy to make friends. Mm. Even in Hanoi, it's not that hard. So, but yeah, that's one thing. Life is about people. Okay. okay. Yeah.